I'm Pat Gunn, and this is the eighth episode of my Let's Play of Fallout 4. In this episode, we are going to go and do a quest to visit a Super Duper Mart for the Brotherhood of Steel. And we're going to go uh, visit Grey Garden and talk to the robots. And we're possibly going to go wandering uh, uh, a little bit northeast in our map here from... Uh, from Covenant, which we have not entered, and we're probably not going to enter for a little bit. There's some interesting quests in there, but we're not quite ready to do them yet. But before we head out, we should go and see what I've done with uh, since the last video. So you will notice that I'm up on the roof of the Red Rocket, and I have built more of a place for people to stay up here. So they get some sleeping bags and some candles, and I have finally decided... I, I was spending a lot of time just trying to figure out how to get one of the short ladders that would just lead you right up to the roof. But instead, I just bit the bullet, went with the long ladder, and then had a structure raised above uh, the roof itself, which works nicely, and I stuck some, rail, uh, some rails in up here to make it feel reasonably safe. Things are pretty much the same down here. Uh, I haven't really changed stuff around. I've removed some stuff that it, that made the place feel less like a home. But there haven't been super involved changes down here on the ground floor. So, that is the state of uh, Red Rocket. I've also gained a level just from doing that little bit of building. So, we're going to take the skill and let's see gun that is pretty appealing. Or hacker. Or locksmith. Um, right between these, gunnut is actually a little bit more useful to me right now because there are some mods that I would really like to do uh, to my weapons. One other thing that you'll notice, um, or at least you probably will notice, I finally have built myself a uh, sniper rifle. It's not a particularly amazing one. It's not. Uh, it's not the most uh, jazzed up weapon. Uh, later on, I'm going to keep on improving this thing, unless I get a better base weapon to manipulate. But, it's at least something. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sometimes, the reason I'm coming out here is that often you'll find encounters. In these places, where where was he? Oh, he's a little bit further. Easy there, girl. I can fix you up. Here. Yeah, this will make you feel better. You need a name. I'll call you Sparky. I almost feel sorry in a sense. Institute fodder, really. But try to kill me, and I'm afraid sympathy goes right out the window. Weird. I don't remember ever seeing that dialogue from uh, Cloudsworth before. So we've helped a dog, and it's going to keep on wandering around. Um, there's a guy who occasionally wanders by and he'll sell you uh, a dog, and you can send it to one of your settlements. I've actually had that happen once with uh, while I was doing settlement building. And I don't remember what settlement I sent the dog to, but I think that dog, it doesn't actually do very much for you. I guess while we're out here, we, we're going to go and visit Thicket Excavations and see how things have changed over there. Yep, long loading screens means you can spend some time rotating, rotating your stuff. Or rotating the, the stuff that it uh, will show you. So what we see here is that things... We're seeing signs of raiders, which is fascinating, and turrets. So, let's blow up the turret. Yeah, this is why I like uh, sniper we uh, weapons. You don't have to get particularly close, which means you don't have to worry quite as much about uh, ammo. The downside here is that, at least at this point, it's hard to get uh, get and maintain enough uh, ammo. 
and that there are some perks you can get later that make ammo drops a little bit more common. But at least at this point near the beginning of the game, you'll find that ammo is not something that you're going to have tons of. Oop, there is another raider over there. Am I ducking? Yes, I am. Oh, now the fun thing about legendary bows is that uh, you, if you don't kill them with your uh, first shot, or, I mean, if they're not dead, then if they ever get uh, pulled down to 50% health, then they uh, then they recover all the way up and become more dangerous, which is a little bit silly. Makes very little sense. But, but the upside of them is A, I believe you get more XP, and B, you usually get a unique item when you kill them. In this case, it is a raider chest piece. And raider weapons are not actually particularly great because... Just because the protection they give you for the weight that they have, it's a poor ratio. Okay, well that is going okay. And we're going to keep on moving, but then we're going to find... But we have some not-so-friendly people nearby. There we go. So, it turns out that helping that guy was a mistake, because he actually was not a good guy. We ended up helping some raiders take control of this, uh, facility. There we go. So, they've... The raiders have set up camp here. It's a little bit weird that you can tell that the raiders just by sight. Suppose if the game were a little bit more accurate, it would just show them as humans or something like that, and you'd have to get close enough to see if they're hostile. Oh, okay, there is our... There is who's firing at us. And there's some more people firing at us. I can't quite see uh, where. If we're very careful, and we're going to get a lot of loot from people here. I wonder how they fall in. Maybe they dug right into a spring. Yeah, at some point it stops making sense to pick up most pipe weapons. Here, oh, that's a little bit weird, but let's do it. That's where he's going to take care of that. Okay, so there is our next foe. We're going to do a headshot. And the nice thing about that crit bar is, again, I think I mentioned this in a previous video. Absolutely unrealistic and silly, but if you've saved up enough crit bar points from just doing uh, bats kill, or I mean bats attacks, then you basically get a free hit on whatever body part you want. And hitting the head always does double damage, so it's usually what I'll hit. Although occasionally shooting the feet makes sense, if you're not going to be able to kill your foe with a head uh, with a headshot and you just might want to keep them from getting near, uh, near you. That usually will make more sense if you're going against a creature. Like a Deathclaw. A submachine gun. Oop. Oh, goodness. Well, that didn't end too well for them. And just to, to be clear, in case you haven't played Fallout, 
the way that you get uh, get the points needed, you see that uh, sliding up bar on the lower right there? That's your action points bar. And you can spend action points for uh, for a VATS hit. And VATS is the assisted aiming system that pops up if you hit one of these buttons. And you got some flares. Yeah, so when moving in, they were civilizing this area. If you read all of the text around here, you'll find that what they what they were doing was extorting money from uh, from traders. Now, I'm not actually entirely willing to condemn that, and that when in when you don't actually have civilization, when things have really really gone south, oops, then you kind of have to do what you can to survive. Who is it that's doing that? Uh, oh, boy, you screwed that up. Ain't nothing I really want there. So you kind of do what you have to to survive in a suitably low level of civilization. Um, another thing which I'm not super likely to use. Generally, it's pretty random what you get in these. And so you kind of hope that you're, you get something that you would actually like to enhance and then use. But fairly often it's not. Fairly often it's just something that you would more likely sell. That's okay. Feel free to give up at any time. Somewhere up here is a bow. But we're going to switch to a weapon that's a little bit more suitable for close combat. Okay. Down you go. Yeah, just more radar gear. Not super useful. Shit. Awesome. But still a great haul. Probably should have planned to do this, but um, yeah. Another person who I got remotely. Oh, hello. didn't do enough damage to get a share of that experience. Ah, there we go. Slowly earning my way back up to a full bar. But it's gonna take me a while. But really you pretty much you you want to usually have those and then save them for situations where you're either desperate or it would be just freaking awesome to do a, uh, a vax kill. Okay, I think we're actually losing the save here, but we're going to keep moving. Nothing really up there that I need. Yeah, and as as you remember, this area was just completely full of uh, up <laughs> was completely full of water before, and I, I swam around in it anyhow. But uh, it's a little bit more uh, useful to be here when the raiders have actually set up camp, because that gives you quite a lot of opportunity to. Uh, Quite a lot of good stuff that you'd like to loot. There. I'm kind of torn at this point between treating this as I don't see anything. likely close combat or, or likely long-range combat, but I, I think I'm going to go with close combat for now. Because if you get it wrong, you have plenty of time to correct yourself uh, towards long combat. But towards short combat, you might be uh, you might be in a situation where you really oop, and there is well, where there's not a lot of time to do any kind of type of correction. Okay. I don't know this is feeling close combat maybe. No, maybe not. 
You don't get a great shield to whether somebody is just a little bit beneath you or far beneath you. From that, uh, from those map coordinates. Okay. Kind of amazing how many, how many people came here just after that that pump drained area. But this might be a reasonable place for a settlement. Uh, let's see. Oh, down we go. And this is finally a place where we can get a good view of everything that's going on here. Meyer lurks. Ah, there is a person. Got them before they got the chance to turn around. And again, these are raiders. Oops, holy Mathis. This is the person who we helped so much earlier. We're gonna do a headshot. Which is not enough to kill him. But you see that skull above his head, that means it's much higher level than we are. And there we go. Got him. It's a bummer that uh, he wouldn't show any gratitude. But I guess that's one of the things about Raiders, or if I'm being a little bit less charitable uh, to my side, it's actually one of the things about what happens when you wander into uh, into an area with guns blazing. Like, none of the other people really saw me, uh, saw me when, uh, when I was here before, because they weren't here. So they just saw some well-armed person wandering into their, uh, into their zone. You would kind of expect them to uh, maybe not react particularly well. Good stuff. And then by the time I made it down here, uh, I had killed so many uh, of the raiders that Soli was probably no longer super interested in chatting with me. And there's another sniper rifle. And some actual useful... Uh... Let's see, where did Cotsworth go? I was hoping to be able to hand him some of this stuff. Well, hopefully it will show up soon, because I do not like to spend a lot of the, uh, the game walking like this. Um, Many of the quarries in the game are kind of like this. They, they're not perfect. Places where you would really imagine building a lot of, uh, you wouldn't imagine building a town in them, but there's still places that offer a certain amount of security. Hmm. Seriously, where, where did Codsworth go? This is quite annoying. I bet he'll show up if I head up this elevator. You, you can go after the... Uh, oh, there he is. He got stuck in the pond. You can go after the Mirelurks if you want to. But I don't really have much of a reason to do that right now. And I would like to... Probably not spend too much more time here than I need to. That's it. Okay. Up we go. It's, it's a grim war where you have these types of radiation storms. Doing this to the sky every so often. And I'm hoping that Codsworth will teleport to my side shortly. I really, really would like to give him some of this stuff. I want to have a moment. Ah, there we go. Hey.
Cool. So that is what happens with uh, this quarry, which is unfortunate, Maybe but it's part of life. Sometimes you make mistakes and you, and you don't judge people right. And I like that in a lot of open world games, instead of having narrative decide everything, it's actually flavored a little bit more like real life. A little bit more. I mean, obviously there are some very fanciful elements in this type of game. Okay. Hey. So, we can now drop off all the junk and drop off anything that we're not act uh, actually likely to use. Um, some of the stuff, again, we're probably going to do something with later. Definitely not now. And whenever we're given a choice between a weapon... Let's see, so our sniper rifle is... does 55 damage. This does 37, so we're going to drop it off. And we're going to drop off a lot of this... So poison resistance is just, you so rarely encounter poison damage that it's not worth it. Uh, I would actually probably wear this except it's uh, Raider gear, so it's super, super heavy for the amount of protection it gives. So otherwise, let's see, pop off that and that, all the things. Yeah, this isn't going to take us quite as far down as I would uh, like, but actually definitely don't need 16 of those. 93 isn't too bad. So next on the agenda, we're going to go to that super duper mark that the Brotherhood of Steel sent us towards. And really, these kinds of randomly generated quests, they're probably the best way to keep getting experience. Since they reward really a pretty ridiculous amount of XP for every time you do them. Now, there's, there's an argument to be made that maybe you shouldn't do them uh, if you're very careful, because you'll, you'll be more likely to encounter scaled uh, enemies. That is, enemies that... When you go up a level, you'll encounter more dangerous variants of them, and maybe you should just prefer to be a very well-armed, low-level version of yourself that has great weapons, um, and that's only facing weak foes, than to sign up for facing stronger foes. It's a fair argument. But... I, I just, I enjoy some of the perks that you can get through leveling up, and I enjoy them a little bit too much to actually want to do that kind of strategy. There's other games where it really makes sense to do that. Like, sometimes it's almost a punishment to go up and level in, in some of those games, and so it makes sense to... Okay, so here... this place you can get so much metal just by grabbing the shopping baskets a whole bunch of dead feral ghouls and the lighting here actually isn't that bad and it's interestingly creepy here you can see again. That is super, super annoying. And this is not great, because... Yeah, that weapon is just a little bit too slow. Like, the last thing you want when you can be formed by a whole bunch of nasty foes is a slow to reload button. Okay. You have to 
to be careful in uh, Fallout 3, of course. Like in previous Fallout games, it was really only the highest level ghouls, which could run absurdly fast, unlike any of the other ghouls that you really had to worry about. But in this game, ghouls are actually amazingly fast. I dare say I'm slightly. And make sure that we have a, a, a good weapon to... My thoughts are not bad. Let's deal with some of these guys. No. Might that have been locked for a reason? Um, just gonna be a little bit cautious. And very close, uh, carefully pick our way back and forth. through the sights. I've stopped if you're not able to for that. I wonder what brought the roof down. There is a glue way over there. So now we're just gonna very carefully keep picking our way through. What's in this thing? Take T A K E. This is possible. Sweet. Yeah. And we're going to activate the protect protectrons. Powering up. Protectron on duty. <laughs> will end up going after some of the ghouls and just costing them a little bit in numbers. Unless we've killed enough of them that it doesn't really matter. Although I really don't think that's the case. I'm pretty sure there's a good number of ghouls left. Okay, there is one. back for a short range weapon. I think I hear some, somebody. Ah, uh, there we go. Multiple. Or multiple, I should say. But quick Molotov. Won't say it made short work of them, but it, it at least uh, did some good damage. See, do we have nobody else in sight? Two skeletons that were apparently having a nice meal. Yeah, it is kind of amazing how long this stuff has survived scavenging. I think the thing that makes it most ridiculous is that if you imagine um, finding a village Got built it. in the 1700s and finding things almost exactly intact. Nobody would believe that. I guess it's not quite that impossible in that uh, we have materials that would last longer at least. But even with that, there's a little bit of goofiness. Okay, there is another friend. This is a Minuteman, and Minutemen, we're not actually going through quite 
the most typical course of the game, and that we're actually avoiding meeting them. If you if you do a certain set of things, then they can be a major factor in the game. But I find them kind of annoying, and so I, I kind of tend to avoid... I avoid going through the steps that revive them as a faction. So they just never show up in my game at all, ever. But they, they tended to use uh, laser muskets. There is our buddy, the Prote Protectron. And this is like the immediate... behind the, the scenes tour of this place. You may now No, he's not aiming at me. has prevailed. Ooh, almost got hit. Of course, a, a single hit wouldn't have killed me or anything, but still, there's that instinctual panic that you get. In some, in at least a game that's well done enough. Okay, so still worming our way back here. These are some offices. You can see, definitely nice to. Or definitely amusing to see these fans. It might have been hot back here. No way I can pick this. Definitely need to improve my lock picking skills. Oh, and... and our and to just try to join us, we push them back. Good. There's a weird looking carrot. I think part of the story of this game is that everything that, that survived in this world ended up pretty mutated. So it, it might make sense for that bizarre carrot to be there in the form that it is. Did I miss? Is there something? No, there isn't. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay, I heard something. Okay, we actually just shot one of the arms off. That is the end of that. Now the withered ones actually, it's a good thing that we didn't encounter a looking one of those, because they are really dangerous and unpleasant. But so we're still doing okay. Ah, teddy bear. Sweet. There are some steps down if we want to take them. There's some stuff going on this. What's it? But yeah, this is just a pretty boring convenience yes. store. You can kind of imagine. You can't imagine what this would have been like back in the imaginary day where it was seeing heavy use. Okay. Nice. Not 
after who Josh is. Like, he probably was a minute, man. Yep. Some... I guess the thing that surprises me is that if you have intelligent people who knew enough about history to actually know that a place like this should be stocked full of great stuff, you can't expect them to form into a spontaneous... Uh, I mean, I guess the term raiding party is a little bit too negative, but you would expect them to spontaneously organize to go into a place like this just to get all the resources and to bring enough of whatever they had to, to make sure that they were successful in their endeavor. For some reason, they didn't. But this place should be empty. It should have been emptied a long time ago. in here. Oh, I looks like I was just not being super observant. Okay, oh, that is actually a little bit stressful. Open the door, my uh, computer. Okay, so that was that was a super duper mark. Uh, mark. We're gonna check in and collect the X, uh, XP for having cleared out that area. might let us level up and get better at picking locks, which would be very wel uh, welcome. But even if we're not quite there, it'll get us closer. So, are you finished or what? Affirmative. Impressive. Keep proving your worth. I may start to trust you. Keep plenty more locations out there that need clearing. If you're interested in heading out on another mission... Mm -hmm. I'm ready. All right. Details are on your map. Report back when the air... Sweet. So we did get a level. Don't think I can... And I think... Uh, Lockpicking... Or scrapper, we can't do scrapper yet. Block picking makes sense. And at level 18, we could take like take this. it up to the max. But this is at least enough to let us do this lock. And most of, and I think actually all the other locks that we've been stuck on before. Uh, let's see. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, that looks looks like... So, off we go. What the hell are you waiting around for? Oh, touchy guy. So we're gonna again swing back by Red Rocket and drop off our stuff.
and then head off to Grey Garden, where, because last time we just kind of swung by it, saw it, marked it on our map, and kept moving. There is a caravan distress call. That is interesting. Oh, that's right, I moved the workbenches out of here. So, actually it's easier to do everything in daylight, so we're going to take a quick nap until it's uh, daytime again. Oh, not too long to wait. I think it'd be kind of crazy to do this in real life, like to to sleep for two hours after spending a long day out. But... Oh, fudge. Okay. Nineteen... Might have been it. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that, that was definitely... Whoops, I did not mean to put a weapon that I actually use away. Because then you actually have to remark it as preferred weapon, and that makes it hard to... It's, it's just uh, an annoyance, but... Human hound chops, meat fruit... Oh, mute fruit is really useful. Like, I can start planting that in my uh, settlement now. And we need Codsworth. Where did he go? Codsworth. Oh, oh there he is. Hey, what's mine is yours, mum. Is. Oh, we... he's already emptied. Okay. I really don't remember doing that with him yet, but... Okay. So... Rhaegar. That is the next thing that we're doing. And Grey Garden is here. And here we see Grey Garden is a farm. It's a friendly farm. They don't mind you taking their stuff. We'll grab a little bit more meat fruit. And we'll go talk with some of the robots. And it's not capable of talking. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. That's pretty ingenious. Not only that, but your data collection and analysis must be top-notch. I'm sure these crops want for nothing. Of course, darling. You see, the worker drone... We supervise. We are capable of complex analysis. Mm -hmm. I remember him. You seem... You're far too young. I was... In a... Remarkable. Now. Mm -hmm. Robotics and... Perhaps you've noticed. Well, it's definitely... I'll take that. After all, the last thing any... Mm -hmm. A few other things you should know. If it's caps... Uh, tell me, darling. It's awful. <laughs> Pressure is down. Radiate. This will never do. All right. Marvelous. Most of our water, be it dear and pay a visit, if you can get it. Okay, so we've been given a quest. And, because of how the conversation went, Go right ahead. Codsworth so really gracious, likes us. I've always had such admiration for you and sir. Mm -hmm. It just warms my soul, you can imagine. Right. I searched but found, and when you return but the news, believe me when I... I'm no hero, Carl. Don't sell yourself. Uh -huh. It's such a bleak one. In my 200... Mm -hmm. But you, Mum. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carl. Uh, no thanks, Ness. I truly believe. Now, not another word. Let's get back to it. 
Okay, so when you get any of your companions up to a high enough level, you get a perk. And that's what I just got. Uh, the perk in this case, it's not one of the more useful perks. In that you can see under, I think... So Contort's perk is uh, Robot Sympathy. So uh, robots uh, won't do as much damage to you. Which, it's a little bit useful when you're going against some foes, but it's just, it's not really enough to write home against. Uh, or write home over. But since we've gotten Contort up to this level, there's no real point in bringing him with us further. So we're going to swing back by Red Rocket and drop him off. And uh, we're going to start training up familiarity with our next companion. And this is, it's a neat mechanic because it means that your, uh, your playstyle is always going to be, it's going to be slowly changing uh, all the time. That back then here. Heads up. Here's what I have. Yeah, he really doesn't Heads have up. anything. Another is already in the works. You can head home now. As you wish, Mom. I'll be at the... And we're going to actually have him stick around at uh at Red Rocket. Just because we don't actually do very our character doesn't go home home very often, and I typically don't ever move settlers there. So, it makes sense for me to, uh, to keep him at a place that I actually go to. And so what we're going to do here is swing back through Good Neighbor. And hire our next companion. And just to put it on the radar, turn on the the radio for Silver Shroud. Uh, for the Silver Shroud. Hey Daisy, you're back. How'd it go at the library? Get rid of those. Uh -huh. I managed to fight. My... <laughs> I know it was an odd. Here's your money. Okay, so I turn off the audio for uh, for the radio. So you didn't actually hear any of it, but I did it. Um, Can't believe it. You look just like Sam too. I'm sure as hell didn't act like him. Red, so this is kind of a goofy out place. The all day again, or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is I just work. clean up around here. It's not all about okay, cooking. Am I confused? Square. I thought that... It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe I might have gotten mixed up as to where I'm going. I know what? that, uh... Where's the fun oh, no, this isn't the right place. My mistake. It's kind of interesting seeing, uh how much detail or lack of detail in certain circumstances they give to the outside world from some of the interior scenes. Sometimes it doesn't really look all that similar, and certainly if you drop something, you won't see it through the window. Hey, just a friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down Institute spies as they oh. prop up. Looks like they actually managed to tell, because Sammy had a synth component. So where I am going, it's down to the third rail, which is a bar that is set in an old subway. It's a bummer in the game that they didn't actually build the subways to connect, like none of them do. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. So down we go. Yeah, none of the subways are connected in this game, whereas in, in some... In most previous Fallout games, they actually were entirely connected. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still. Well, the ammo on his uh, clothing. 
that isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. So this guy, do they have ammo? No, they don't. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? Yeah. What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with good neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, yeah, unfortunately you can't off. just quickly you got shift that. through you this finished? dialogue yeah. because you're uh, you're we're not finished. part of it really. Come on, Barnes. Look, lady, you're preaching about the atom or looking for a friend. You've got the wrong guy. You need a hired gun. Then maybe we can talk. I'm interested. If you think you've got what it takes. You're joking, right? Mm -hmm. you used to run with the gunners for God's sake. Uh -huh. You're acting like I... Maybe it's better that you... I don't want to stink them. Now what about you? You don't. Can't argue with that. I'll tell you what. The price... What do you say? Everything's... Is something wrong with your hearing? So, are you in? You've got a deal. Now you're speaking about... Uh -huh. Alright, boss. Okay. So we have McCready. McCready is a little bit uninteresting in that... Uh, unlike most... Uh, most companions that you can have. He's not somebody who you can easily just... It's not enough to just uh, keep on doing the things that he likes and you'll get his... Uh, get full approval for him. It's more that you do enough that he likes and uh, quests will open up. Reasonably involved in difficult like ones. But his perk is actually worth it. It increases the accuracy I think the accurate, uh, accuracy you get with sniping weapons. So what we have is the Grey Garden quest here. She's investigating the uh, water treatment plant. We did pick up a Caravan Distress Call quest, which is kind of tricky. And we're probably going to leave that alone for a while. But... Uh, we're going to actually go and investigate the water treatment plant that the Grey Garden bots were uh, unhappy about. So, let's travel back to Grey Garden, because it's not super far from Grey Garden. And it's quite nice that we ended up maxing out affinity with Codsworth on the way here, because uh, McCready is probably a better uh, person to have your back for this set of quests. We're not going to take quite the most direct route to get there, because there's some stuff that we would like to have on our map on the other side of this bridge. Again, at this point, we could swim, but swimming is kind of slow and annoying. So it's just a little bit more scenic to take the, uh, take the high road. You'll notice that when you run, your uh, AP goes down. Just something to be aware of. Like typically, it's just it's nice to have just a little bit more speed, but you want to be ready for foes as well. So this is another uh, settlement that you can uh, set up. Overland Station. I think it starts out without. Or does it start out with some people in it? Uh, looks like it does. Okay. Hey there. Mm -hmm. Huh? <clears throat> hey there, friend. Look, we're in some real trouble. I'd be I'd glad to... What's these damn greens? They take everything. Sure. We can't live... I'll take, I'll take care of this. Oh, good. I didn't know what... Okay. So there's another quest, and we are going to do it, but it's also a little bit uh, out of our way. Where are we? We, It's near Cambridge Police Station, but I believe that we are here, and we were going to head west to the water treatment plant. But often these quests are timed, 
So it makes sense to maybe not dally. We're going to shift what, uh, what we do. We'll also see that gear. So that's another place that we would like to have on our map. I really like the lighting effects. Uh, oh, there's a super mutant. We're gonna very carefully take these guys out. These guys are kind of dumb. Wow. We're not going to need that stuff anymore. Huh? Excuse me. <laughs> Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Uh, did we get them all? Yeah. Yes. Sometimes when you rescue these guys, they'll uh, they're willing to uh, go and settle where you say. But I guess not this time. That person is just going to go running off. Oh well. I don't know if I've ever been to this place in past runs. It's just, it's not directly on the path between places that I typically care about. Let's explore it a little bit. It's not actually that. Got it. Well, storeroom. Some planters. Okay, well, kind of interesting. Let's see. So I was hoping to go and learn this gear class. Just because it definitely is a place where we're going to have business later on in the game. And having it on our map makes sense. Switch back to not such a specialized weapon. Reload. Okay. Vault 81. Well, uh, we're going to save heading in there for some later event. Now, for, for Fraternal Post 115, we're going to fast travel back to Cambridge Police and then just walk south. Because ordinarily, uh, it would be nice just to keep all walking and, and uh, learn all the places in between. But we're getting to be on a little bit of a timeline here. Okay. Here we go. Fraternal Post 115. I believe that... This is where the, there are apparently some super mutants that need to be cleaned out. Okay. Be very careful. This is not a big building, I don't think. But it also probably means... Oh, it's this place. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Uh, let's see what weapons we have. The Molotov cocktails. And the shell shotgun. It's not actually going to do. Switch back to a sniper rifle. We might have enough time to take on our foes. Let's see distance, but I'm not going to count on it. Okay. Vibes from this place. We shouldn't be here. Okay, this is 
that's not great, but leave a little gift for them in case they decide to come up. Gotta come out sooner or later. And we're gonna switch over to a shell weapon. Looks like there we go. Greedy's gonna go. That's interesting. This is uh, not working out that well. Seems that I'm hallucinating a little bit. But I've killed the boss, which is, looks like it's good enough. Okay. So stim pack, those always actually restore broken limbs. But oh, five. Uh, uh, this is really not working out that great. The game has been canceling my reloads. Not doing any more of that bad. Reloads are really annoying, but they're realistic, so... Somewhere around here is that super mutant. Needed that, thanks. Just impacting up because it's just, it's too difficult to, uh, to do well when you're fighting alone. At least at this point in the game. Would uh, do that, but then again, they all used to be human, so well, you would expect them to have a kind of complicated psychology. Crystal decanters are great in that they provide essential components to radios, and eventually, at, when you're at the point in the game where you would like to have a whole bunch of settlers nice. come to your uh, settlements, you need to build a radio to convince them to come in. Carefully carving our way through here. Basically, the bobby pins are free XP, more or less, once you have the needed skills. Same thing with the hacking skills. Yes. Like, it's small amounts of free XP, but it is free XP. Uh, 
got to keep moving. Nothing that interesting up here, but I think we're getting... Somewhere down here is another super mini. We heard him. Not sure where he is. On the other hand, we fulfilled our quest of, of clearing the area sufficiently. Aha, we've taken their room. They will not be able to clean things. They did. Okay, so just ever more glass and other good stuff. This is a pleasant change. I can hear myself thinking. Somewhere in here is that last super mutant. This is why it's nice to have McCready, because he is quite good at distance aiming. Yep. Although our health did get kind of scarily low, but we have survived. goodies. Generally those chests are always a good sign. Nice. Okay. So that's it for this place. And so that should make those settlers happy. You actually, I believe, have to make it back and tell the settlers that you did it, or there's the chance that it will just be counted as a victory for whoever was threatening the settlers, which is ridiculous because the threateners are dead, but at the same time... Well, anyhow. Well, you're still alive. That either means you haven't gone after those super mutants yet, or... Good news. Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. Hey, by the way... Okay. So, they, uh, they give you the right to manage their settlement. And if you're not doing anything with the Minutemen, this is kind of what it looks like to get more settlements on your side. You meet up with them, they give you a quest, and, uh and then you can manage their settlement too. So we got a level from this and we're doing the Let's see. Do locksmith. We could take hacker up another level. We can't take gun nut not up further. And we're not uh, able to do scrapper yet. Science is also kind of tempting because this lets you modify energy weapons. So I'm actually well, hacker is just too useful. It makes sense to keep on pushing that one up. But maybe next time I'll do science. So we were able... To, I dropped off some of our stuff here. And we're going to we're gonna head out to Tro uh, Troubled Waters, which looks like it's just due west. And it's that place. Oh, off we go. We do have this nice little boat. Let's see if there's anything useful. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. It's worth a shot. Let's see. Uh, that's the shotgun. But we should probably keep it loaded. Sniper rifle also should keep it loaded.
we're gonna steer a little bit clear of, of this because you can actually see super mutants there. And we would prefer not to be swimming right up where we're facing tons of them up on us. So over here, this is probably about the right distance for safety off. I think we have company. Very careful. Uh oh, that's not good. They have rocket launchers. And noose. Very careful. Then we can take care of the big threats before they get anywhere near us. Which is one of the nice things about sniper rifles. Okay, this is still working out mostly okay. Although one of them got a little bit close and we've been separated from the treaty. But let's climb a little bit up the uh no, that's not really far enough up to give us any type of protection. Okay, let's wait till we see the dead of their eyes and we have more than half a chance of getting his head. There we go. There we go. Got him. No, he really didn't have anything good on him. Uh oh, somebody else picked up the rocket launcher. That is not good. But we'll get him with a the shot. There we go. Unfortunately, I think that person might then pick up the rocket launcher. I hope not. It's like McCready is up again because they're shooting at him. There we go. So, even though we clearly haven't gotten them all because our uh, alarm bar still shows danger, We can at least advance a little bit and see where it gets us. I'm pretty sure we will have our first rocket launcher shortly. It's an interesting pipe rifle. If it's interesting enough, I generally will pick up pipe rifles, but it usually is not. Okay, so I've just heard another one of one of the super mutants talk. See where could they be? Oop, there they are. We would like to start refilling our uh, crit bar, so in two that shots there. It looks like this just used to be a road and then there was flooding for some reason. Uh oh. Hmm. Thought I heard something. Apparently not. Quite a lot of flooding here. And the elevator is busted. to very carefully move our way through here. Not really sure why somebody would bother to patch over that given that people can just walk around. Okay, any future combat very well might be close quarters, so I'm Moving carefully through here. There's a good chance that down here there's some more stuff that I would like. Yeah, this is Campus Super Mutant Village, more or less. No, nope, no. Nope. It's not what I was asking you to do. What is this? This is these are usually traps. Gonna keep 
open up all the good stuff. So we picked up something burnt. Okay, that was the bomb that that skill was going to set off. We hadn't gotten it. Somebody over there. Oh, it's one of those mutant pounds. Okay, let's keep very carefully moving our way in. missed a bomb, but that's okay. Down and up. Bring it on. And there is the dive. But somebody's shooting at us, I think. Okay, here we go. Nice direct hit to the face. But I think I hear somebody shooting at us from a longer distance now. I'm not quite sure where they are. Oh, there's a skirmisher somewhere in this direction. Oh, right beneath me. Okay. But skirmishers are actually pretty dangerous. They have more health than uh, most super mutants do. Again, shows some signs that it was probably civilized by raiders or other humans at some point, because I don't think super mutants would fish. It seems pretty unlikely to me that they would. Okay, there's our skirmisher again. Later on in the game, you're going to see me doing headshots a lot more, but that's going to happen after. I, uh, after I get the perk from McCready. Uh, speaking of which... McCready. Look alive. Hey. Oh, you shouldn't have. We're gonna give them all our junk. And then proceed into this place. I think... So this is gonna be a long video. Since I think we're just a little bit over an hour right now, and we would like to uh, move our way through, or head our uh, head through this place, and then head back to Red Rocket to, to close out. We might not finish though. If we get too full, we don't think that we can actually uh, carry all the the loot uh, back. Then we might take a break halfway through, head back to drop off our loot. Okay, that just gave us something extra on the map. Maybe useful, maybe not. Just like in real life, this is really all about this being prepared. I can hear myself thinking here. Good stuff. And that the more prepared you are a variety of situations, the more likely it is that those situations will not defeat you. This is true at work, it's true in interpersonal things. doesn't mean that it's the only guidance you need and that it is possible to overthink things and that can screw things up pretty easily too. But it is one of the things that you should be thinking of. Okay, so there's elevator there. Is there anything else we want to do here? No, okay, so for now, we're going to keep on carefully making our way up. Oh, this is... that just leads up to the roof. We're probably going to leave the roof alone. Um, maybe I'm getting this place mixed up with another location. I. There's another location that has some similarity to this place, uh, except when you enter, there's a weird weaving path that you have to take to get around. Um... Uh oh. Uh, 
rest yet? Ah, security system. It did not like us. But we came out ahead. And we actually got to loot it. Keep on moving. Nice. Some more stuff. Oh, well, that's kind of ridiculous. Open bathroom, but I bothered to pick a lock to walk to a place just a few feet away. Oh, well. Where I heard something. Got it. There we go. Patio furniture. Well, that's nice. The more stuff that you can build. Let's turn off the turrets. we have down here. We have Look alive. Uh, Commonwealth Savings Bank of McCready open for Yep. More stuff to give McCready. No, we could tell uh, ask him to wear some of this stuff. Actually, the glasses might make sense. Oh no, that's charisma glasses. He doesn't need charisma glasses. Might be useful to give him... Uh... Oh, this does 40 damage. This does 55. Okay. It's fine. We filled him up. So we might have actually hit the point where it makes sense to uh, head back just to drop stuff off. So if I manage to fill, get fill, uh, full enough in this room, I'm just going to head back. And we'll have to come back here to actually do this quest. Do some cement. I can't see a thing in here. Yeah, it's beginning to look like we're not going to stick around and do it this time, and we'll have to come back next time. But that is fine. Where are we? Inventory-wise, we're two twenty-six and two fifty. We can carry a little bit more. Two thirty-four of two fifty. This is just kind of a side storage room. What's the point of picking up that junk? I kind of wish a lot of companions actually ask about that, and you can't really just tell them, look, there's stuff that we can do with the settlement. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're, we're going to head back. This is getting us 241 to 250. And our companion is absolutely full. It doesn't make sense to keep exploring when we're at this full. So in our next Let's Play, we're going to come back and finish uh, this stuff up. But for now, we are just going to head back to Red Rocket. Going up. And here we'll see the goofy pattern of if you just kind of do this in the elevator, then the person will usually... Oh, apparently not. Usually they'll teleport to be uh, to be near you. So let's head up and actually take the the roof exit. I don't remember what the roof uh, roof of this place looks like. Oh, and somehow McCready tele teleported himself all the way over there. That's goofy. Oh, nothing too special up here on the roof. But there's more to loot. Oh no! Yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can just manage to get McCready to carry just a little bit more. Okay. 
side. What's up? Um, so we're, we're only five pounds over. And we can, if we can get a little bit, we can get that down to four. Doesn't look like it. It's worth trying. But now we can just drop anything that's not the most useful thing in the world. The thing is, I like cement. It's a pretty useful thing to have. Uh, so we have five pounds to lose. Plastic is useful. Wood is useful. Although wood is not the most... Connecting rods are not super high value and they're very heavy. So we'll just drop that. And now we're able to fast travel back to, uh, back to Red Rocket, which is where we're going to leave things off for this Let's Play. But we've had a... Uh, had a good day. And it is evening time. So we're going to drop off the junk that we have. Briefly. Well, actually, we might do some construction. Hey. What is it? So, we'll grab all this stuff, drop it off, and I will see uh, you guys in the next, uh, next video, which will be Episode 9 of the Let's Play of Fallout 4. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to have time to do that. Today, I just ha I ended up having a little bit of extra time after work, and I was in the mood to uh, spend, uh, spend it on this. Um, chances are the other one won't be uh, super soon. Yeah, here we can definitely see the niceness of having... Uh, oh, did I take McCready's hat? I did not mean to take his hat. Is it called McCready's hat? Maybe it's Postman hat. I'll get his hat back on. Um, Oh, oh, it, it is McCready's hat. It's it's there. So I will just give him. Hey, hey. Yeah, sure. I'll trade with you. There we go. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so see you in the next play. Bye.